Alright guys, well this is test number one of running rock salt through the mulch main. It's going to be pretty interesting. So we just have an old Lesco uh, hand sprayer here. I actually bought this about uh, 12, 13 years ago. It's, it's pretty old. Um, but this is the first test. We're going to go ahead and prime the load. We're going to pull it in and then we're going to start running. So it's going to take a second for the load to get there because right now the material's back. I'd say it's probably back to here. It's only one bucket for right now. So we're just going to kind of curl before we walk here. So let's see. I don't know how this is going to go. We're going to find out. Alright, the load's ready, so here we go. Okay, well that, that works really, really well. I'm gonna try this again here. Alright guys, so here's the deal. The more material you have in here that's not mulch, so material that let's say mulch rinse, I think it's somewhere around 900 pounds a yard, where Say something like rock salt, dirt per yard, you're probably looking at maybe anywhere between 2,000, 3,000 pounds, depending on what material you're running. So, what I, the reason I'm looking inside here is that I'm controlling the machine via this joystick. So, with mulch, you're going to push it down for a second and a half and up for a second. Where with this other material, I might be going down for a second, up for maybe two seconds. And what I'm doing is I'm clearing this belt. So, take for instance, right now, there's quite a bit of material on the belt. Well, actually, no, not really. Not really. There's not much in there. So, I'm going to bump it down. And then I'm gonna bump it up. And as you can see, it's just clearing that belt, and there's a lot of material there. So if you don't want to overrun your machine because our tarp system is so strong that it can override the belt, but we have safeties in place, so you don't damage anything. So once you understand how to run this, and that's why you always see me kind of looking up in there, I'm just watching what I'm doing. You know, taking uh, taking care of the machine, and making my life a lot easier. I don't have to shovel things. So. Think about this, you're lugging around a bag of calcium or a bag of rock salt and you're putting it in here. Well, you no longer have to do that. I don't, I don't carry anything. I'm, I've carried enough bags in my lifetime. So this is gonna make your life a lot easier right this way. We're gonna go ahead at this point, we're gonna back the truck up since we know it can fill this thing real nicely. We're gonna back the truck up to this hopper over here and we're just gonna run the material either into that or, or into a bucket into a skid loader. And that way we can do this test a little faster, but this thing's working really well. Go take a look at the belt right there, see how clean it is. It's not too shabby, man. It's clean. So that's the small load. We're going to go ahead and put in a bigger load after this test, and we're going to see how it goes.